think we found it. We found it. So we made it safe and sound to Osaka Castle. I'm not gonna give you a history lesson because I know I'll butcher it, but we read that it was built in 1583 and then blah, 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 blah down the line. It was destroyed. And so in the 90s, it was rebuilt to what it looks like now. It's like a replica. There are even elevators inside. It's like a concrete replica. It's super gorgeous. It's one of the most famous sites in all of Japan. And we flew into the city of Osaka, so we couldn't not come see it. Yeah. Osaka's crazy. We'll be back. But for now, this is kind of like our one-stop shop for the day. And I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So that was really cool. We didn't know, but we had already purchased the single one day pass. And if you have that pass already, single pass meaning for the for subway, subway. <laughs> um, you get a discount of 60 yen per person to come into the castle. So we're saving even more than we thought today. I like that. <laughs> debated whether or not we should even stay the night here and just go straight to Kyoto. That was so worth it. We Honestly, we need way more time here. Yeah. But we told ourselves we're gonna get a little sample and we're coming back. Absolutely coming back. We knew the second we stepped into the airport that we were coming back. <laughs> and that When this, we were greeted by the Nintendo yeah. sign, we knew it was We just Spain. knew. <laughs> So now that our time at the castle is done, we're gonna head back to our hotel, grab our bags, and then we're gonna find the train and go to the city of Kyoto. So yesterday when we first got here, we were a little overwhelmed <laughs> trying to buy train tickets. But once you know how to buy them and kind of understand the machines, it's really easy. Everything is in Japanese and English and it runs just like a subway system, so it's really not anything different. Yep. I was worried we wouldn't understand any signs. But... The only thing that throws you off is that the machines and the trains are super old. <laughs> they're old school. They're ancient, but <laughs> they're, they're fine. Once you get past the ticketing machine, it's easy. because when you look in at photos of Kyoto, you see all the beautiful temples and like the forest and stuff. We're in a big city right now. I mean, we're about to see some great things, but yeah, it's a city so far. Oh my gosh, it's a real hotel. We're not sleeping on the floor tonight. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, this feels so wrong. <laughs> <sighs> okay, this is like our first real hotel room in a long time. Our bed is so small. The bed is big enough for my leg. <laughs> like, we're gonna be on top of like, each other. Like, that is the coziest little thing I've ever seen. But it's Japan, it's supposed to be cozy. Oh. All the people are so cozy. <laughs> we have heat, 
We have an actual bed. We have no smoke. And it's like the same price. Yeah, it's fine. Oh my gosh, this is heavenly. <laughs> All right, Japanese bathroom tour. What do we got? Wow, it's very sterile. I feel like I'm in a really nice trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so explain what we've got going. A shower for your front or your rear. Back in front. A front? Who wants a shower up their front? I'm sorry, what? A gill. That's the toilet. Okay. Fancy. So I think... This is the nicest thing. Oh! <laughs> I was going to say, it will be okay. I turned on the shower. That is the shower. The shower is the faucet. Okay. We'll figure it out. Hello from Kyoto, Japan. <laughs> the reason that we added Kyoto to our itinerary for our little, we'll call this our intro to Japan trip, is because Kyoto is kind of like the historical, cultural, touristic epicenter of Japan, if you will. <laughs> and Quite the description. Yeah, I mean, I think that sums it up. But really everything quintessential Japanese you can find here. There's a hub for the Geisha district where you can see them in the evening. There's shrines all over the place. It has the oldest shrine in the entire country. So today we are kind of doing the city in chunks. Everything is kind of outside the town. So we're doing a northwest side versus like an east side. So today is the east side and we are starting at the Hashimi Inari Shrine. Let's go check it out. The Fushimi Inari Shrine was established in 711, not the convenience store, the year, <laughs> 711. <laughs> it's basically this trail of shrines that leads for two and a half miles up and around this hill, and it's a shrine for the god Inari, which we don't know much about, but we're um, gonna hopefully learn about. <laughs> we didn't know it was that long of a walk. But it can take two hours. We're here and we're gonna do it. Oh, I did read though that foxes are the guards of the god of Inari. So you'll see foxes all throughout and sometimes they'll have a key in their mouth and sometimes they won't. Okay, good to know, <laughs> thank you. All right, so we're gonna take the worship regular route. You start in this building here, go all the way through, go through here, and then this is the staircase that has the famous markers all the way up into the mountain. Oh my gosh. We have wanted to see this place. Forever. Forever. This is like one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. So cool! is a place that you have to see in every single season. Oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine it in fall. We have winter, which is really <laughs> cool because you have like the, the cool gray and it feels like 
it's it's extra quiet almost but then if you were here in the fall you'd have the yellow and then if you were here in the spring you'd have the flowers if you're in the summer you have the green with winter though i feel like it makes the orange stand out that much more it's so dull outside so it's like blinding mm, it's so pretty <laughs> it's so pretty to our next destination. We're just walking through the area of Gion and it's like all of these old wooden super authentic Japanese buildings. <laughs> They're so cute and it's like moss covered everything just so Japanese. It's the best but we just came across this tree with the longest branch I've ever seen in my entire life. Please. All right there's the end. They have it wired and it goes this way <laughs> and it goes this way just remember this is one branch and it goes this way and then peeks down there behind the fence I don't know how it's still alive how is it not broken off uh, look at this town <laughs> All the shops are the most gorgeous shops that you can find. This place is a dream. <laughs> the backyards of the little houses. And this view right here is Kyoto at its finest. And it's raining. And I don't care. No. Nope. Because it's so perfect. <laughs> Stop talking about me that way. <laughs> Shops are beautiful, people are beautiful, it, the food is beautiful. <laughs> it looks fake. Yeah. Everything looks fake. Yeah. This area specifically is also the capital of the world for matcha. So part of this deal is take it as much matcha as she wants. As much? As much as you want. He didn't tell me that part yet. <laughs> you already had some, just cheap kind. This is like the real deal. I have to have the real deal. Like when in Rome. Matcha heaven. Mm -hmm. Look at this beautiful little thing. That one's way prettier than the ones you just saw on the street. I went half and half. Mine's half matcha, half soy milk. How is it? It's very creamy. And I think you can eat this, I hope. It doesn't right. look as pretty. So it's it, so hot. It's really good. Look at that selfie going on. 